You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show, the ONA virus spreading across America. You guys want to take our first call from Maine? Yes, let's hear what Maine has to say. I think we just started up on a station in Maine. In uh, Portland, Maine. I don't know, a couple days ago. Portland, hey, Maine. Hey, Wayne, what's going on today? Hey, what's happening? Hi. Hey, from Maine. Hey, hey, you guys have been up here for like your fourth day, and everybody everybody I know just hates it bad. Yeah. Really? I mean, this is, this is talk radio. I mean, Rush, Rush Limbaugh and Howard Stern, they're supposed to be all gone. We don't want to listen to that junk. Hey, what are you doing listening? So, yeah, why are you listening, man? Like, if you don't like it, why wouldn't you just go find something else to listen to? Well, there's no there's no other morning show up here that's any good. Well, ah. then, you're, then you're stuck with then us. You're stuck, Wayne. So what are you going to do? Is there well, anything, Wayne, was there anything in even a very short time, four days, that you found at least compelling, something that made you listen a little longer? No, 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 nothing. Really. No, no, then no, why no. are you still listening? Then Wait. why after four days? Does your life suck that bad? You sound like a dope. There's well, no I, music I, you could listen to on another station? Yeah, what would you rather listen to, Wayne? Yeah, what would uh, you music. rather? Music in the morning. That's what we want. Music oh, is what, that what, what you want? Then get an iPod. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Don't be such a faggot, Wayne. Just listen so, to your music. You don't need us to play it for you. Your station sucks. I mean, I don't know why it's even on the radio. Wait, it sucks, but you're listening. But you're listening. You, that that uh, blows. Wayne, you, Wayne, that. you understand that blows your whole argument. <laughs> you you think we suck, but you've been listening for four days. No, no, just just ten minutes at a time. Just uh, <laughs> it doesn't Wayne, matter. You're, <laughs> you're a hook. <laughs> you're a dummy, Wayne. Wayne, you don't even know it, but you're hooked. It's called the virus. You have the sniffles right now. You have the sniffles, but you're infected. Because there's something about this show that you gotta you gotta keep tuning in. You will keep listening, Wayne. You know that, right? No, what, no. What, what kind of music would you rather uh, listen to than this? Oh, good question. Uh, d disturbed and corn. System of a down. Uh huh. Well, the music that, that they played last week. Last week was great. And then you guys get on and you guys talk for three hours. That's horrible. Yes, yeah, what we do. Yeah, it's that, called talk radio. Yeah, we're horrible. doing we're doing do you talk hear radio. Some disturbed and some con. Con. I mean, I, I don't see any fun talking about Tommy Lee's. Then uh, don't and, listen, and, you Wayne. Ass. Wayne, Wait, don't listen. We don't care if you listen. Wait, What's Tommy, Tommy Lee's Tommy Lee, what? That's like, like that's like old news. He, he had to uh, hepatitis ten years ago. What are you talking? Hold on. What are you talking about, Tommy? Oh, you know what? When we, we came on, we were in best of. Oh, oh that was Monday. Oh, you dummy! Monday. That was an old clip. Wait, you dope. Wayne, I'd like to apologize. I mean, we were all, we were off the first day that we came on, and it was a uh, rerun. Right. Yeah, then I, then I listened to it the second day. You guys are talking about mold in your apartment. Yeah, yes, that's like uh, yeah, that's that's yeah. We we bring our lives into our radio. But you want to rock, right, Wayne? You want to rock. Yeah, I, I want to rock. I don't want to listen to all and this. And you stuff. sound like a real douchebag. Do you know that? I don't think so. Yeah, I, yes, you do, and you know you do. Wayne, here. I mean, you guys need to get off our station. We're on your station. No more music in the morning, little boy. What do you I think mean, of them that's, apples? That's stupid not having music in the morning. Yeah, well, then why don't you hum? Put your head in an older gentleman's lap and hum your favorite Disturbed song. I mean, Why don't you get AIDS that? and then hum down with the sickness? <laughs> Shut your face, stupid. Yeah, we love Disturbed. As a matter of fact, we're going to be uh, talking to those guys in a week or two. So I thought they were in tomorrow. Oh, is it tomorrow? I'm so annoyed. Oh, I'm tomorrow. Be in Nashville. I'm, I'm missing those guys again. Oh, okay, the, tomorrow we talk to Disturbed. Wayne, we're, we're here to stay, so I don't know what to yeah. tell you. Yeah. Your music has gone bye-bye. Bye, music. So either get an iPod or... Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Bye, music. Bye, bye, songs in the morning. Buy what, buy what Wayne wants to hear. My favorite con song. This is not what I'm used to. There's nobody up here that likes it. Yeah, yeah. well, then, then oh, good. Oh, Wayne that makes it even more satisfying. Everybody, everybody Wayne is the spokesman for <laughs> all of Portland, Maine. Dude, how many friends could you possibly have? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've talked to a bunch of people. You I, didn't. I, I, all right, give us names, Wayne. Who'd give us names. To? Who? Give us names. Come on. Who'd you talk to? You're like oh. the news. People are saying, are oh, they? He's gone. Did he hang he up? He just hung up. What a jerk off. We did not hang up on him. I want Wayne to call. I want Wayne's friends to call. He's oh. he's uh he's hooked. He but does have it. You know when you start uh, when you start up in a new city, you know people they're trying to figure it out. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. It's too early to tell. You can't tell in in 4 days, especially a show like this. And one of those days was the best of oops, sorry. But yep. uh it's very hard to tell in 3 days. What what any show is about, unless it's a jock going, and now we're gonna get the lead out, play some Zeppelin. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go to Buffalo and say hi to Duffy. We're on the edge in Buffalo. What's up, Duffy? Hey hey guys, what's going on, man? Hey, 
You know what? That guy Wayne, when you read the cue card with his name on it, you should have known right away. You should have started asking him questions about girls like Regis would have. <laughs> name like Wayne, the guy had to be gay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's a rope smoker. What do you want from that? Uh, yeah. I, it's just funny. He wants his music. I love these guys. music, man. The CD's stupid. You know, I love these guys that hate the show, but they're listening. I don't I don't get that. When I, when I don't like something, I just turn it off and I, I move on. I don't... I don't uh, try calling the show over and over again. Never. And, and tell the people yeah. that they suck I, and they should go away. When I was in L.A., I did listen to Tom Likas, and he was just so... Oh, I don't know why I would tune it in, but I hated him so much, I couldn't stop. That's yeah, what guys, are, uh, I had he to listen. He was listening to you every yeah. day. He was. Li he told you exactly what you were talking about every day, so he yeah. listened to everything. So he's listening. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what you get. That's what we, We've been through this so many times. It's textbook. We have we have recordings of guys that called. Remember at NEW, that guy that called. Hey, I want to talk to a d uh, dopey uh, and uh, no, dumb and dumber or what the dopey hell? Is and, and 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 uh, it ain't funny. Ain't funny. <laughs> yeah, ain't dopey funny. ain't funny. <laughs> I just I made that up. <laughs> he goes. Why don't you play some music? Guys, you, you know, suck. Play some about? music. And then he turned out to be one of the biggest fans we we ever had. Oh yeah, the guy oh, wouldn't right. leave us alone. Uber fan. Here's the deal. We're we're being syndicated across America. We're on uh, about 20 radio stations right now. More to come. We're going to be successful in most of them. There yeah. will be a few cities that uh, that uh, the show's not going to be for them. That's just the reality of what we do for a living. Yeah. But in general, most of the cities are going to end up loving the show, and uh, we're going to get really, really good ratings in those cities. That's a fact. I can guarantee yep. that. But a few cities will drop off and go, you know, we gave it a try. Ugh, we're not feeling a buzz. We're going to try something uh, else. That's fine. That's I, fine. I disagree. But Wayne... We'll, well, we'll be number one in every market, and I say in 30 days. <laughs> That's it. 10 days. And, and stupid Wayne's going to talk for uh, all of Portland, Maine. No, no. We, we loved you guys when you guys were here before on a different station, and um, you know, we had that TNA with Owen. You remember that? I was that no, I don't you know what remember I'm, anything about that. You know what I'm hearing, and I want to... I want to remember that? Of course we remember. <laughs> Duffy. Jesus. Duffy. Dope. I, I, I need someone Dopey, to do some Duffy. research for me because I was talking to Farid, who uh, is the CEO. He, he pretty much owns Citadel, okay? He runs right. Citadel. And uh, he called me yesterday and he said somebody up there is trying to cause trouble already because we're back in Buffalo on, on, on the radio again. Ooh. And they're bringing up the TNA with O&A and, and uh, I guess some of the pictures and all that. Right. And just trying to cause a stir in a Buffalo. Ruckus. But they're all hiding. They're hiding in offices and stuff. So I want to I wanna know who's so scared up there already that they're trying to, you know, cause problems. Guarantee it's one of the radio stations. Oh, of course it, was it is. Insane that no I'm hearing it's nine. I'm hearing it's ninety-seven rock. I'm hearing, you know, I'm hearing things. It can't be. But basically, can't be. they're owned by the same company. Well, the well, well something three and ninety-seven are the same exact company. Well, something's going on up there, and we got to get to the bottom of it because, uh, you know, they're not they're not happy. We're back in Buffalo. There's some people running around scared, and uh, and they're trying to like cause this uh, this 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 trouble with our old event TNA with O and A. And they'll never come out and just do it publicly. They're such little douches. They have to hide. <laughs> because Free's yeah, no, like you know Free's uh, saying, well, they're uh, they're handing the pictures out to uh, advertisers and this and that. They're just they're just trying to cause problems up there already. Oh. Nah, you guys are here. You're not going anywhere. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to find out who was uh, behind that little uh, little thing, and then we're gonna have a little fun. Yeah, you guys got to come up again. And uh, by the way, Jim, yeah, Jim Norton, I still got the stinky hat that you signed. I took my hat off and it stunk real bad. And you were signing my hat, and you're like, "God damn, this thing stinks." <laughs> Did your hat smell? I don't remember. It smelled, uh. like, a, it smelled like a gorilla foot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Nancy. sir. Oh, I was just watching right, gorillas lot, I missed yesterday. It's really funny. Yeah, let's go to Junior. <laughs> funny. Big hand, flick your ashes in it. Let's go to Junior in Michigan. Junior. No. Yeah. Hi, I'll Junior. I go on vacation. I come back and I have you guys on. Yes, you do. Yeah. 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 What would you, you used to have in the morning? Uh, we used to. I used to listen to rock and roll, man. I yeah, rock, rock and roll. roll. Any, anything? Any? Any other yeah. expressions from 1957? What did you like? What music? Oh, I liked all. I liked the classics, man. 80s, early 90s. Oh, you, know? you really Guns are. Guns and Roses. And yeah, because you can't listen to them anywhere else. So once you get an iPod, what's wrong with you? Well, I would just like to say one thing for everybody in Michigan. Here it comes. To rock and roll. Yeah. 
You can see Jimmy on Thursday, <laughs> Friday, and Saturday in Nashville. You stink. Thank you, mister. I hate you, Junior. I, I love you. Junior. He's I a good boy. You. I'm leaving for Nashville in a few hours. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at Zanies. Zanies? That's a nutty place. It's gotta be funny if it's at Zanies. I know. All right, so after four days, they hate us in Portland, Maine. What can I tell you? I mean... <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks for giving us a shot. Uh, and, and you know, it's got to be true because Wayne says everybody's saying it. Wayne. And but he couldn't come up with one name when we asked him. And he's he's got to listen every day to hate us more and more. Right. Ugh. And now this is what we do. Hope they find gonna, now what we do. Now everyone has to suffer because of uh, Portland, Maine. Because of Wayne yeah. in Portland, Maine. We got Jimmy's uh, Zany's promo. Do you have to it. sell tickets for this gig? I, I think it's sold out, to be honest. You're, you're it's be not in... sold out, but it's very good, actually. All right. Uh, Jimmy's playing Zanies in Nashville over the weekend. Tonight he's leaving. Through Saturday. Yeah, he's leaving right after the show. This is how Jimmy, good old Jim Norton, one of the stars of uh, Lucky Louie on HBO Sunday nights at uh, 1030. Ooh. This is how Jimmy sells his comedy shows. This was the XM promo. That's this is a this months. is a real commercial. We didn't. Yeah. This isn't a, a wacky radio bit. This is Jimmy selling the fact that he's going to be at Zany's in Nashville. Hey y'all, this is Jim Norton from the Opie and Anthony Show, performing at Zany's in Nashville, Tennessee, July. The 27, 28, 29, that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Phone number 615 615-269-0221. 615-269-0221. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, July 27, 28, 29. That Zanies in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Wonderful. Why? Well, can't wait to go. <laughs> That's a promo. Oh yeah, that was my. Uh, Better call that phone number right away. Wow. <laughs> a commercial. You are horrible That's with those. I love annoying them. <laughs> Come down. Yeah. That's uncomfortable. Bad That's fake. As you learn about the show, uh, you, you'll learn that we love to annoy you. <laughs> we, it's one of our favorite things in the world. I have a, thank God I have a Houston one coming up in a couple weeks, too. Another Southern promo <laughs> on its Great. way. Let's go to Chris in Pittsburgh. Chris, what's up? Hey, uh, call Pittsburgh. Uh, Chris from Pittsburgh, yes, go. Welcome aboard. Hey, hey you guys You guys blow everything. Uh-oh. Oh, my Boy, God. Sure I think this might have been the... a compliment. It all... It sure cut out at the wrong spots. This is a good phone <laughs> call. Could you call back, sir, on a better thing? Chris. On your dumb road oh, cell phone? I, oh, we're desperate for a compliment today. We could have <laughs> got one there. Well, you have to give out the number. A lot of people don't have the number. Uh, uh, no, the phones are ringing. No, I know. <laughs> They're but, ringing. But I mean from other new markets. I want a compliment from a new market. Not just Philly and... We know we love Philly, but we know they love us. How can they not? All right, let's say hi to Mike in uh, Maine. Hey, hey, Mike. Hey. Oh, and hey, what's up, guys? What do you say, Bill? What's up? Um, just want to let you know I was down in New Jersey when you started on NEW, and now I'm up in Portland, Maine, and I'm loving it. Thank you. Telling all my friends about it, Wayne can go F himself. Yeah. All yes, right. he can. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go to Megan in Dallas. Megan. Hi. Hi. I want to know how you're doing in Dallas. How are, are we doing in Dallas? I don't know. Uh, I have not a clue. Uh, you know when I just said that, uh, not every city... <laughs> Uh, it's going to like the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, come on. We have to be doing well We got well some early Dallas. favorites. <laughs> like you're up against Lux and Terry and Kid Craddock in the morning, who uh, obviously Kid sucks. Craddock stinks. He is yeah. so old school and boring. He's very gay. Cookie Cutter Radio with Kid Craddock. Uh, Dallas? Uh, uh-huh. Well, they have a from from uh, 5 to 8. No, I know. We don't know what... Honestly... We can't tell what's going on. I'll be completely honest. I We can't tell what's going on in Dallas. They run the show at 5 in the morning to 8 in the morning. Uh-huh. So so we need to do more hours of radio? I don't know. Is that it? Uh, well, a lot of pe- a lot of, uh, a lot of cities want the show live. Yeah. What they should do in Dallas is just go on an hour delay, get us on from 6 to 9, and then maybe we would know what we're doing. Yeah. But they uh, decided that it's best that we're on 5 to 8. So I don't know. That's for me, because I wake up then. We looked at the ratings. You can't even tell what's going on. I'm, I'm being honest. 
Well, why don't you find out what you say it on the radio? We're certainly not moving the needle in Dallas. No? No. Cause the, the, not yet. I blame the ratings. It's like we're on the more... The more yeah, we, we'll get to inside, but it, you know the morning ratings are from six to ten, and we're on from five to eight. It's just so the first hour doesn't even count for anything. Yeah, and then the oh. then the, the the second two hours count for the first half of the morning ratings. Yeah, they're only looking at <laughs> six to ten, right? And we're not even in there. And I'm not making excuses. I have I don't know. I don't know what the buzz is in Dallas. I don't either. We don't really hear from uh, the Dallas station that much. Eight six six three one three free. Give us a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and my husband love you. All right, thank you. Let's uh, go to Rochester. Greg, what's up? Yeah, uh, we never really liked Opie when he was up here. I mean, you guys, it's just, it's lame. It's not even fun to listen to, you know? I mean, we were listening to Stern for a while up here, but we like our radio. Ew, we like our we radio. Like our we radio. like our radio. Radio. What's that? What mean? does what that music mean? Music on our radio. Ew. The music <laughs> on your radio. There's so much music on yeah. radio. Yeah, Rochester's a really good radio market. So find uh, find a station that has music. Yeah, well, you know. And what? this guy you goes, guys, I didn't like hey. Opie when he was up here. I was I was uh, I was a kid. I was spinning records. And he was playing music. You I mean, idiot. You know I was playing yeah, hair you know band what? records. Here's me. Def Leppard on the home of rock and roll. Who gave a crap about what I did in Rochester? And also, aren't we on the afternoon in Rochester? Chester? Yeah. I love you guys and you suck. Thank you, mister. God, I here's, what, here's what Tommy he knew. I knew he loved he, us. Me too, because we're not on live there. Yeah. Oh. So how you See? want to be listening on XM? Oh. Oh. I deduce things. Oh. You deduct? No. Oh, is that wrong with deduct? You deduced it? In? All right, let's go to Detroit. Oh, what a deduce. I don't know why we... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we went on this tangent, but... Uh, Justin in Detroit. Justin. This is our taking phone calls segment, Hopi. Yeah, from uh, from, yeah, from the syndicated markets, and and we're trying to figure out uh, how we're doing. Uh, Justin in Detroit. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Thank God he loved you because I really was going to hope for a fiducia rocket to hit uh, Rochester. <laughs> but anyways, that wasn't funny. I know. Well. But anyways, uh, car crash. You know. Um, got two guys that had the serious radios, and I got them listening to you on the AM station here in Detroit, 1270. Yeah. Which, by the way, comes in fabulously. Uh, well, they got XM radios yesterday, and I helped them install them in their semis. Oh, nice. Oh, thanks. Uh, the yeah, ratings... Semis? Uh, the ratings in Detroit, <laughs> pretty good so far. Uh, pretty good so far. I, I, I haven't seen them. I listen to you guys on XM. 1270 barely comes in where I live, but, uh... I, I, I really wish you guys would get on FM and knock Rover out of here because I, I had to listen to him yesterday and it was, uh, well, you know. Well, I like Rover. He eh. seems like a nice guy. He's a boy. Eh. He's a nice guy. I Wait a minute I don't now. Like the hole. I don't like the hole. Yeah, I don't like holes on radio. Guys. No. We have, uh, by the way, for the next people that want music, I think we had some, uh, some, we had some live music in here the other day. We had drums. Oh, you want to hear that again? No, I'm just saying people want music. I mean, like, I, well, I, we don't need it now, but anybody wants music, we do have some music for yeah. you if you want. You want rock and roll? We got rock and roll. Yeah, we'll play this for Wayne in Portland because he wants his, uh, rock and roll. He wants to do some, yeah, why would it be out? One and done, that's good when something is really good to play. You have it, E-Rock? Looking. You're not spending the morning looking. That's right. Anyone else notice that? Yes. Searching. Just searching and looking. Eric's not happy unless one hand is moving stuff one way and the other is moving it the other way, and he's peering stupidly into the middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say hi to Kyle in Michigan. Kyle. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Kyle. I live in this uh, elite Grand Rapids market, and I uh, was just wondering how you guys ever think you're going to make it here with Puddin's Playhouse as your competition. Ew. We're Puddin's up against Playhouse? Pudding, P Pudding's Playhouse. What do yeah. they do? Pudding's Playhouse. What do they do? It's a top 40 station, WSNX. Yeah. It's uh, him and his hole. But it's where Lance Bass hung out. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the show is Pudding's Playhouse? Yeah. And what do they do on the show? Um, really, they just annoy people. I mean, just by being there. <laughs> um, one time they tried to do a live HIV test on the show. Yeah. And uh, the very next day is when he got his hole. Yeah. And yeah. I had it the... Uh, boy, that that didn't seem to go together. This call sucks. You brought up as the HIV much as test. Pudding's Playhouse. I'm a Pudding's Playhouse. <laughs> They're... Oh, God, radio. 
<laughs> Could I just find something else that oh. pays as well? <laughs> Do well, that. <laughs> let's uh, let's pray every night that we can beat Pudding's Playhouse. Pudding's Playhouse in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's going to be tough, guys. I don't know if we're up for the challenge. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. See you guys. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, they they don't have that. E Rock. We should have that out. One minute oh. is coming. All right, you want to sit here and, and fill? That isn't filling. That's whistling. La, la, la. You saw Steve the Whistler yesterday? Oh, yeah. You got my one? phone call? Yeah. Yeah, we were just method. talking to him uh, about him yesterday, and um, I'm walking in my neighborhood, and, and here comes Steve the Whistler on the sidewalk, and he's whistling a little tune. I'm amazed. He's whistling a little tune. Yeah. Th th that didn't amaze me. Look up Steve the Whistler saw him. on the Internet. The thing that amazed me is you even recognized him. That guy could bump into me. On the sidewalk, I wouldn't know who the hell he was. While whistling. Yeah, while whistling. And, and Opie goes, hey, I, I, he leaves me a message. I saw Steve the Whistler. Like, what? How did you even recognize him? I have a Rain Man type of thing going on. Really? I remember I remember people. I take notice of people when they come in here. I can't be bothered. All right. Jim? Finally, here's... I wouldn't know him if you introduced me. If, hey, Jim, this is Steve the Whistler again. I wouldn't even remember that I'd See, met him. Who are you, idiot? Exactly. Why do they call you that? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, but as we go to break, it's Jimmy. Some music. Jimmy on the drums. Oh, this is for Wayne in Portland, Maine, because he's representing all of Portland, Maine. We like music. We and like he music. says that you guys want to hear music in the morning. Well, here's Jimmy. It gets heavy. Welcome back to the OBN Anthony Show. 